How's it going everybody? Ian back with another video. Today is going to be a little different, a little shorter too, because I am testing out my brand new phone that I just got, uh, just in case my computer poops out and I have to film my videos on the phone until I figure out uh, uh, the new computer situation. Um, but uh, to be fair, like I don't use the, the laptop for anything but making videos, so it's not a huge high priority. Uh, during the Christmas season or whatnot, but it's working well so far. I, all I have to make sure is I keep it plugged in. The battery's completely shot on it, so I uh, just have to keep it plugged in and it should work just fine, but I'm just testing out the brand new phone and looking at the uh, the video features. So today, uh, listen to a lot of, po or uh, not podcast, um, that's later. Listen to uh, audiobooks. I listen to Mr. Magic by Kirsten White, uh, which, I enjoyed up until the very, the last, you know, 80% of it, or excuse me, not the last 80, I enjoyed the first 80%, then the last 20% just, it fell down. I, I didn't like, didn't, didn't really care for it, uh, to be honest. Uh, and then I am currently listening to The Bloodlands by Jonathan Mayberry. He wrote a series called Dust and Decay, like the series is called Dust and Decay, I believe. A young adult zombie novel, post-apocalypse novels four of those and this is his second trip back into those lands so there's two books out right now i'm not sure if there's going to be a third might be just a duology so it's called the bloodlands by jonathan maber i'm currently listening to what i am reading of blood and bowl bone oh wait no of blood and fire of blood and bone is the john gwynn series of blood and fire which Ryan Cahill gets compared a lot to John Gwynn, so that's why I picked up this series. So this is um, The Bound and the Broken Book 1. Uh, 200 pages in, really enjoying it. really do feel that John Gwynn presence, I guess. So uh, there are three books out of this right now and two novellas. I've read The Fall, which is the first novella in this series, and it's pretty good. Just to... Uh, uh, just to uh, start out this series with. So... We've got that. Hopefully the audio is good. I'm not sure about the audio on this thing, so I will be posting it regardless, I guess. Um, this is going to be my next read, Night Watch by Sergei Lukyanenko. Uh, I should really look up how to say that name. Um, but uh, this is a pretty uh, uh, famous, not famous, but uh, a well-known uh, book, uh, vampire novel. Uh, urban fantasy series so want to check this out um, so yeah that'll be started a couple days hopefully um, and then during a podcast I was listening to it obviously the way as you do with podcasts and they were talking about this book and I've been hearing a lot about this book on reddit and youtube booktube I should say uh, and I figured I'd pick it up uh, they say it's a cross, you know, Harry Potter and Game of Thrones, but more violence and more sex. So I figured, Jesus, how can you, like, I mean, like, how do you top, you know, the Game of Thrones violence? So I figured that's what the podcast said. So I picked it up, The Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. Um, it's not normally something I would probably pick up. But uh, I was just intrigued that I've been finding. It's a very nice looking book. I mean, that's a that's a beautiful cover, in my opinion. Uh, so, picked it up. And uh, I'll see what everyone's talking about. Apparently, the next book is coming out fairly shortly. So, if I like it, I can just jump into the next one. But um, uh, after additional research, it is either you really love this book or you just absolutely despise this book. So... I'm curious to see. Like I said, it's not normally something I will, I would read. Um, I'm not huge into dragons. Like that's not my, and of, yeah, it's just. And I know that of Blood and Fire is a lot about dragons. For some reason, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I, I just can't get into into dragons as much as a lot of other people. But um, hey, you know what? Maybe this book will change it. Maybe a blood and fire will change my opinion on the dragons, but uh, you can't have fantasy without dragons, so I don't know what I'm doing. So, that is it. I don't think I have anything else. So, 
five minute video here to see, to test. This is a testing phase. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Goodbye, everybody.